Welcome again to Tickle My Rights uh, Garage Session. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, put on a pair of fork gators for uh, Triumph Bonneville. I think the gators adds to the classical uh, retro look of the bike and the gators comes with a pair of uh, clips as well. With the bike on the ground, loosen the front wheel nut. We also have to remove the speedometer cable and uh, the mud guard and the brake caliper. The speedometer cable is uh, pretty tricky to get out and uh, the screw is uh, pretty long as well so it might take a while to get it out. With the screw removed, just uh, pull out the cable. Next up is to remove the brake caliper. A reminder is that when you uh, have detached the brake caliper, do not engage the front brake because uh, then you have to push back the brake pistons later on when you're gonna reattach everything. Once off, just uh, zip tie the caliper to a sturdy place on the bike. Move all cables out of the way so you can access the wheel better. Now it's also a good idea to raise the bike a bit so you can remove the front wheel and also so you can get clearance to remove the front forks. Take notice that you have both a wheel nut and a spacer as well. Now you also slacken the clamp bolt. And then it's time to remove the front axle as well. The wheel comes off and it's time to find all the parts that holds the front mud guard. Some uh, jiggly wiggly and uh, front guard should come off easily. It's time to loosen the four clamps and you have one lower and one upper. Also take notice uh, of the height of uh, the fork top as well. Because you want to have the same height distance when you're gonna reattach the forks again. As you can see there are already a pair of uh, dust protectors on the front forks 
and these are the ones we're gonna replace with the uh, rubber gaiters. Put the fork upside down and uh, gently tap uh, on the sides of the dust protectors. After a while, uh, the dust protector gonna fall off, and if you're lucky, the dust protector is still intact. You can reuse it for later on if you want. And you'll also see that uh, the area where the protector was is quite dirty, so uh, give it a nice clean as well. And then uh, just slide on the rubber gator instead. Don't forget to uh, put on the metal clip as well that uh, came with the gator. There's also a small screw that will hold the clip in place. Do you remember the height distance before you remove the forks? Now it's time to uh, put them back into the right height as well. Fasten the forks to the right torque setting and then uh, you have to wiggle the rubber top of the rubber gator in place and fasten it with a clamp and screw. And do the same thing for the other fork as well, unless you want to have one uh, dust protector and one gator, which can be cool as well I guess. After you're done with the, uh, both forks, and now it's time to uh, reattach everything again. You have the front mudguard that you have to reattach. Put back the front wheel as well. And I guess you know the rest of the process. I'm sorry for the dark images and out of focus shots. Uh, was kind of dark in the garage at that time of the day.
a warning though when you're gonna attach the speedometer cable because it's only attached to the front wheel with a plastic holder and I managed to uh, crack that one Hope you enjoy this uh, garage session to make a uh, classic bike even more classic uh, by adding some uh, fork gators.